Hello everyone and welcome to the final weapon employment tutorial in this series. After this we'll be going on to the other functions such as starter, takeoff, taxi, etc. For now we just want to cover the use of the GAU-8 as an air-to-air -air weapon. Very much like the AIM-9, you shouldn't be intentionally wanting to get into a scrap with this, but you can certainly defend yourself if the enemy happened to be in the very wrong position. So let's select the AIM-9M Sidewinder tutorial, it's a good start for this. So as with the previous one, I am not going to pause this, instead I'm going to put this into autopilot so we can close the distance while talking through the symbology. And so going to air-to-air -air mode is exactly the same, press and hold the master mode button. Go to air-to-air, -air. and then here by default we have this manual fixed ranging solution, which I don't find particularly useful. Instead, if you push the data management switch left and right, you will cycle through a series of preset target profiles. These match the wing form of various aircraft that you are likely to encounter. In this case, we want the SU-25, since that is what we're facing today. You can manually set other targets, I can go through that in a later tutorial, but for now setting something like the SU-25 is exactly what we need. Really you're not going to be wanting to engage too much larger aircraft than that, or faster aircraft than that. Now when we've got that we have this gun funnel appearing, and this is like the gun funnel on any other funnel based uh, guns profile. The idea is that in a constant turn, if you put the enemy's wingtips to the edges of this funnel, that should be a good gun solution. The difficulty is that that is very much estimating enemy speed and movement based on your aircraft speed and movement, so there is a fair bit of error. Also doesn't take into account any of the enemy aircraft not being perfectly aligned with you. And so you do have to take this with a pinch of salt. The good news is, with this gun, it is really, really rapid fire, and its slight inaccuracy can actually help you. It's essentially a cone of death that you will be spraying in front of you. So I'm just going to take this out of autopilot since we are closing on the enemy. And we're just going to get a little bit closer. You do want to be very close for employing these weapons, as I said, they're not very accurate, but you do have a lot of ammunition, you can spray, and for a lot of aircraft, a single hit with the 30mm is enough to take it down. Uh, we're fighting Frogfoots today, and so they can take a little bit more punishment, so you're going to need to put in a few more rounds into them. Same if you're attacking something like a Hind, you want to put in a few more rounds, if you're attacking a, a fighter aircraft, say you're just being jumped, they've just passed over you, and you're getting in a quick cheeky shot, normally just a single hit is all you need. So here's just a few examples of me trying uh, to employ this. So you can see this SE25 turning in here. Give it a couple quick bursts in its path, but I think I'm not leading enough at this point. And I turn under it. And now I'm in quite a decent pursuit. So that the funnel is now going to be functioning. I do actually have this funnel set wrong, which is not going to be helping. This is the A10 profile. But there I get some decent hits. What I generally try and do is, if they're turning in a straight line, if I pull them through the HUD so that they go from the uh, bore sight across down the length of the funnel, that's normally a good place to get a lot of hits. Basically pulling my cone of fire across. There we go, I get one splash. This is now on the quick mission against a trainer. And again, same general idea. Here I don't have a default profile for this aircraft that I'm engaging. So I change over to the F-15. It should have about the same wingspan. 
There we go. Again, same uh, quick mission, but a second aircraft comes in. Try and line up its wingtips. If it's rolling, then the funnel really doesn't work very well, and you just have to go by eye. Really, this is something that practice is going to make perfect. You get used to seeing where you're going to be getting hit. Big downside of the A-10 in air-to-air -air combat is there are no traces on the gun. So here we're getting low. He's running out of room. I'm getting very, very close at this point. The closer you are, the much easier it becomes to hit. So you can end up just lining up on the bore site. Like I did there. And you can see that one tiny burst in his wings come off. So that's really it for the... Uh, guns employment in the A10C2 for air-to-air -air combat. If you have any questions, do just leave them down below. But as I said, this is really something that practice makes perfect. I would suggest loading up the BFM quick mission. It is quite good practice. Otherwise, I hope to catch you in the next one. Until then, hope you all are kind to yourself and everyone else. Cheers.